And around about that time, I think one of the most popular comedy teams on television were definitely these two gentlemen. <laughs> I've got a letter here addressed to Harold. <laughs> Dear Sir, taking into account the details you have given us about your father, the fact that he is a senile old man who can't look after himself anymore, <laughs> we have decided to accept him into the home. Oh, God, Harold's gonna have me put into a home. Uh. Is that you, Harold? You sly, sneaky, nosy, deceitful, decrepit little old man. That's my letter that you was reading. Get your grubby little hands off it. How dare you? So I'm a senile old man, am I, who can't look after himself anymore. You'll not have me put in a home. I'll die first. You're just saying that to cheer me up. <laughs> I mean, have you any idea what it's been like for me having to live with a death? little man like you. <laughs> I'm not a dirty little man. I have a bath every August bank holiday Monday. <laughs> whether I need it or not. <laughs> oh, Carl. <laughs> is that what it's come to, Harold? You're going to have me put in a home after all I've done for you? I'll go and pack my things then. Oh, Dad, no, no, you don't have to do that. I've already done it for you. <laughs> now, look, Peter, I have seen the home. You'll like it, you really will. What makes you think I'm going to like living in a home? Well, I mean, it's clean, lovely grounds, lots of grass and trees in the garden for you to play in with the other dog. <laughs> I mean, Battersea's not very far. I'll come and visit you and take you to <laughs> Thank you.